And we are back going into side number two. This is still game one. We're in overtime after a tie in the first go at it. So here's a look at this curse lineup, and it's been Attach and Mud Dog really performing in this overtime. Attach is going to go for A flag. Let's jump on board with Mud Dog, who's playing much more aggressive this round. Go with the Bison down low to start things off. Straight onto the B flag. He's not joking around, but look at Fuse. They've actually overextended. Who is this? I'm trying to figure it out. It's actually Trojan. He's already on top of that A flag pocket. Curse, they weren't expecting this. You can tell by the minimap, they're all scattered. And he also gets a kill there. He's going to be able to capture this one. And all of a sudden, the guys from Fuse, they've come out guns blazing. And it's working out really well for them. Just looked like we had a few host problems there. But Attach does clean up the kill. And the guys from Fuse, they've already got B control and C. They overextended over to A, and the guys from Curse caught like headless chickens there. Yeah, a lot of people online saying that Attach is just an online warrior. Guys, this isn't his host, although he does have a pretty solid internet connection. He's not hosting here. It's Miyagi's host, and Attach is still putting on a show. But right now, I'm watching Modi fight for A once again. That has been the game plan for Fuse. Put the pressure on A. That way, they're not looking at B. Solid opening so far as they're off to a 17 to 8 start, but a big 34 point deficit entering the second side. The guys are refused. They are relentless in trying to get this A flag. I'm watching Modi. He dies. He just gets straight back over to it. They're going to capture it. Gets a nice little actual turnaround there on Crowster. Oh, yeah. A little bit of a humiliation there. And the guys are at curse. They only have that B flag. They're going to have to rotate, try and get one of those A or C flags. I wouldn't be surprised if then the guys from Fuse pounce on that. Miyagi trying to do some work behind enemy lines. Meanwhile, his teammate going to be over there neutralizing C. They have B control, so a big kill being scored by Thing 2 will stop Attach from securing C. Miyagi pre-firing won't be able to get the kill. So nice work at the base from Thing 2. And Modi now, 5-1, and one, was on a 7-point streak. Let's see what he's doing here. Make it 6-1 oh. uh, after that kill. He just managed to get the player off the C flag while Kinkas don't even know how. And the guys at Curse have already rotated back onto that B flag. So Fuse, they look like a different team here, Pocket. They were very almost dead, if you could say so, in terms yeah. of their play style in that first half. I don't know what's happened to them, but they got some life back in them. And this game is lighting up right now. They put it within 13 points at the moment. Can they keep it up? 42 to 19 on the second side. Big kills being scored. Trojan trying to get in there, but B control going back to Curse. They still hold on to A. They still hold on to C. C's being contested, and now Think 2's pushing for the trip cap. Like what Think 2's been there. Just so aggressive in the face. Historify, though, letting it down for the guys over at Fuse. He needs to lift his game. Let's get on board as him. He's in top operations. Good positioning, but that scoreboard... 30 points in favor of the guys from Fuse. So that's a big advantage to say so. Historify, though, no luck, unfortunately. He gets taken out, trying to overextend towards C. But Trojan, relentless. Look at him right now, just dropping oh, yeah. his left, right, and center. Once again, Trojan is an animal at the front of that C flag. Yeah, and I had Trojan kind of lit up on your minimap while we're watching thing two. He's here in the callouts, knows he's behind enemy lines. Now he's going to go for C as everyone else surges forward. He's going for the trip cap. Gotta love the objective play we're seeing out of Fuse in the second side. Curse had such a huge lead. It's gone now. All of a sudden, Fuse, they've diminished it. They're going really big on the flags right now. Four down for the guys over at Curse. The guy, I don't know what Fuse have done, but these are completely different plays from what we saw in that first half pocket. Absolutely, Fuse taking over the game. They have the lead right now, 74-34, so a 40-point advantage. That's going to be plus six overall in favor of Fuse. And here you got Modi pushing in to clean up. B, nice teamwork here as Fuse trading properly. The only criticism I have so far is they're getting a little bit greedy with the home flag. They are constantly mm. dying after going after C for the 100% instead of just neutralizing it and spawn killing. But either way, they have overcome the deficit that they needed to. Can they hold on for the last 45 seconds or can Curse rally now? 
Oh, nearly a 40 point lead. So if I think about it, it's only about a one or two point differential right now, Puckett. If we see a repeat of what we saw on the first map, I just don't know what to say. The guys from Curse looks like they're about to get a triple cap. They just neutralized that A flag. No one from Fuse will be getting any points. Trojan, he's forced to overextend towards C and then sing two over near the A flag. So they're going to try to finish this one off strong. But I think Curse might have just done enough. Uh oh, to Curse close is retaking the lead. Oh, no. Don't tell me they've done it. I think they have, man. I'm watching. Mudog just got a big kill at C. He's resecuring it. 32-point difference in this game. 34-point advantage entering the side. And there we have it. Coming down to the wire. Curse wow. pulling it out by two. Oh, are you kidding me? That's... Wow. You know, Curse, they, they turned up when they needed to. They, ha they were down by nearly 40 points. They managed to just bring back... They only needed a few... Only a few points after that huge first lead, and they managed to keep. I'm, I am actually shocked that Curse were able to do that one. Looking at the captures, though, attached six captures to his name, not only slaying, but being that main OBJ player for Curse Orange. Wow. Fuse, you got to take your hat off to the effort they put on there. Modi opening things up six and one. Perfect work there by all the players to overextend. They had the three cap going for a while. But Curse, with that huge lead from the first side, able to get it together in the final minute, and they will come back to win by just two points. These two teams so evenly matched, we'll see them go at it once again. Search and Destroy is coming up after this.